Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Senators franchise. I am under fire a little bit here. Apparently, I'm not doing a great job as GM, which I'm not surprised by. I think I gave you guys a pretty fair warning when I started this series. You wanted a franchise mode. I'm a franchise noob, unless it's a fantasy draft, which this is not. So yes, I'm getting roasted a little bit. But anyway, we are here in round one against the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I don't know if there was any comments relating to it, but I'm doing something that is probably also dumb, but it's going to be done. Edit lines. We're going to the roster moves because Brandstrom is quite simply not getting the job done, okay? It is miserable. He's got the orange and the red over there for the two chemistry things. I don't know if that's what that is, but anyway, line fit. Let's go with that. In the system, we've got Filatov, who is a 73 overall D-man. 100% playing out of his element, but you know what? I feel like New Jersey called up Luke Hughes and things went all right. So let's go ahead, call up Filatov. It's probably going to do something dumb that I don't even know about, like Bernie year off his contract or something. I don't know, but I'm doing it regardless. Best AHL lines. Don't even think they made the playoffs. So let's head back on over to the NHL, edit these lines, and I will go ahead and get rid of Brandstrom and throw in Filatov. Yes, it's a plus one. You'll love to see it. That's already better. I mean, the overall is seven worse, so that's not better. But anyway, this is our team. How we made the playoffs, I have absolutely no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. But we're here. Let's see what we're going up against here in the Tampa Bay Lightning. How did Kuzmenko end up on the Ducks? What the heck? They got Trevor, obviously. Terry, yup. Hurdle, interesting. Who are we playing against Tampa? So they got Hagel, 87 overall, playing with Pointer and Kucherov. Yeah, that is deadly. They got Riley Smith with Paul and Balsers. Interesting. Good second line, but I feel like it's more of a third line. You know, it's probably on par with our second line which also shouldn't really be a second line. But yeah, I feel like, to be fair, they're a pretty similar team. Not really in agreement with this. Sorelli should not be on the fourth line. But uh, I did not mean to do that either. We're off to a great start here, guys. I'm having fun. You having fun yet? This is a little bit scary. They got Sergachev and then Hedman on the second pair, I guess, because Chernak is right-handed, so that checks out. Jack Thompson. Huh. Well, their last pair is not phenomenal. They do have Dylan, and also this Roman guy is a unit as well. He's six foot five. Yo, calm down. What is going on? Still got Vazzy, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're in one here. This is going to be tough. It's not going to be an easy first playoff appearance for us, but I feel like the expectations aren't high anyway. That could be good. NHL 24 is very close at this point, so... What I feel like I'm going to do is I might do like a GM marathon where I make like a two, three hour video of me just finishing up with the sense here and trying to complete the series. I might break it down into a couple videos. I'm not sure what I plan to do yet. Maybe this is the last you'll see of them. It depends on how early I get my hands on NHL 24. So yeah. Anyway, Tampa Bay round one, Ottawa Senators. And that is a hot star. Dra oh my word. Let's go! Second line. Putting in work there. Miles Wood! All from the same spot, too. I think we found Vazzy's weakness. Sorelli, the fourth liner, getting on the board here for Tampa Bay. On the boards. Look where that shot was. Second period. It is a game that we're being outshot in, but we are not being outscored. 25 to 15 are the shots. Ah, that's about time. I'm gonna say, Allmark kind of standing on his head. Dickinson brings the team within one. They are still out shooting us quite dramatically, but somehow we managed to escape the second period with a lead. And we head into the final period of play here. Can we hold them off? You beautician. Thompson buries one. From atop the circle, we have a two goal lead. And I think, you know what? I'm confident. They're done. We have just stolen game one from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hold that thought. Oh my. Sometimes I just wonder why I say things. Please, Senators? No, we had a power play and didn't score. We're gonna lose. Oh, we didn't! Shabbat! Yes! They even pulled Vazzy. What the? Or maybe he got hurt. 
We should probably look into that. There's your three stars. Wait, 33 saves. Okay, he definitely got hurt. Mm, yeah, you know what? They probably pulled him. I'm just thinking now we scored three goals pretty quick. So they definitely just... Said, Vazzy, you're done for the night. I'm just realizing if we plan to get this whole thing in, in one video, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that for every game. So I'll sim three, because nobody can win this series. Oh! Um, so yeah, once again, my brain is uh, just not working, as it, as it does, you know? So... We just swept the Tampa Bay Lightning in round one. And now we have the Flo Rida Panthers, who went to seven. So we've been off the ice longer. Jake Sanderson with seven points. What a legend. Wow. He leads the team. Miles Wood, four goals? He has a goal a game. Brady Kachuk has four points. Jimmy... I don't believe what I'm seeing. How's he still 86 overall? Give that man a boost. All mark 87. All right. How's Filatov doing? Probably has no points, I would guess, but you can look. No, he has one. Still 73. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen that quick. Flow Riders got Kachuk, Barkov, and Verhagi on the first line. That is incredible and quite intimidating, but their second line falls off fairly hard. They do have Lundell at 87, but Felino and Greenway, not the best wingers. Their third line... Not outstanding. Their fourth line. Yeah, you get away with that. Defensively, they got Brady Shea and Ekblad. Butcher with OEL. Okay. It's nothing outstanding. Spencer Knight has taken over 90 overall. It's winnable. It is winnable. Okay, this time for real, no one can win through the calendar sim because I'm doing three games. All right. Oh, wait, the AHL team is in the playoffs. And we are up two to one. So let's go another game here. And it has become a best of three. Can we take the lead in the best of three? Yes, we sure can. Now let's do it. Calendar Sim. Will they push a game seven? Oh my word. Even if we go on to lose this game, did you expect us to make it to the conference semifinals? Seven games, because I didn't. Mikola scores, gets the Florida Panthers up by one. Let's fight back here, guys. I know you can do it, all right? You're the underdogs. No one sees you as capable of making it all the way to the conference finals, and we are one game away from doing so. In fact, not even. We are less than one game away from doing so. So let's go ahead and try to put the Panthers, oh my word, on the golf course. Kachuk scores, it's 2-1 cents. Power play. Nice. If we can go into the third up by one, that's huge. Whoa. Come on, Senators. Here we go. No. <laughs> Felino. He didn't like me not really pumping his tires about being on the second line. Evidently. Ten minutes to go. We are halfway through this third period. Shane Pinto has been clutch. Come on, Sens. Four minutes. Three minutes, no! Kachuk clutching up, and we are headed. I, I think I have to jump in. I have to jump in. It comes down to this. The next goal moves on to round number three. The Ottawa Senators and the Florida Panthers have gone this far. Neither team wants to go out here, obviously. But one of them must. Barkov enters the zone. Takes it wide. Goes low behind the net, tries to make a pass, but it doesn't work. Batherson with it now. Gets it to Shabbat. A, would have been a decent breakout if Kachuk could touch the puck. That'd be awesome. Don't you dare lose on that. Okay. Blocked shot in the slot. And here comes Drake Batherson. He gets hit. Still manages to get the puck in the Florida zone. Nice pick by Brady. And we are back in on the attack here. Great poke check. All right. It is a very defensive battle at the moment. Not a lot of offense has been generated. Great save. Norris gets it over to Pinto, who has been clutch. He has been so good. The 82 overall does not do it justice. Tries for a pass in the middle. Norris back to Pinto. Oh, my. I honestly thought that was it. The way Pinto has been playing, 
Just the fact that he even had possession in their zone, it was done. Oh my word! Come on, Pinto! This guy is unreal. Is he the one whose contract, like, is he playing for a contract right now? Is that what's going on? I think it was him that wasn't signed, right? We gotta give him a deal. He's the heart and soul of the team right now. Great poke check on the TDR attempt. Headman it to 2-0. No? Okay, yeah. Ignore me. You do you. Boucher is in. Does a little toe drag. Goes for a pass in the middle, but it was clogged up. Over to Miles. He's in. Stops up. Fights Thompson. Oh, so close. Yes, in the slot. Good shot. That will be saved by Spencer Knight. Battle for the puck. Mikola, who got the game's opening goal, I believe, with a great pass. Threads the needle. Lusterainen has it on the boards. Great pass behind the net. Krebs goes for a pass to the point, and it does not make it. And the puck is now dumped into the flow rider zone. Here comes Harris. Headmans it. And the Panthers are right back in on the attack here. That was so close. No! Come on, do something here, guys. Did that just hit Allmark in the face? I think it did. Filatov with it. Passes to Joseph. Who doesn't do anything with it. Come on, Matthew. Nice. A little bit of a risky pass there going right across the crease. Putting Filatov in a rough spot, but he finds his way out of it. And headmans it to Igor. Dumping it in. Nice. All right, we're going for the classic hockey plays here. Harris manages to not get pinned. Skates it up. And oh no. Oh no, what a pass. What a save by Linus Allmark. Bernard Docker now spins back. What is he going to do? Goes to the far boards here. Reinhardt puts it in deep. And we have hopefully our first line coming back out here soon. I feel like it's been a while since they've been out here. Don't let Barkov walk in. Brady Shea has it. Whoa, that just missed the net. Maltev getting double teamed. Ekblad at the point. No, it didn't go. Yes, it did. I was going to say, I swear that was out. And it was. Speaking of the first line, here they are. Kachuk loses it. Risky pass by Spencer Knight to give it out to Brady Shea. And the Flow Rider Panthers have it in the neutral zone. Over to Kachuk. Oh, I just realized it's the Battle of the Kachuks. How am I just now clocking that? That's That puts even more on the line now. We've got a brotherly rivalry going on here between Ottawa and Florida. Get Shane Pinto back out there. Great save, Linus. Battle behind our net. Jacob Chikrin appeared to have come out with it, but finds its way over to Tyler, who is blazing up the ice. Well, I thought he was going to take him wide and have it, but not quite. Almost. Krebs with it. Just outside of the Panthers bench now. Mr. Ryan goes cross ice to Lemieux. Who doesn't really have much to work with. But finds Mikola and it is back to Luster Ryan. And over the Senators blue line. But that did not last very long. The Sens back the other way. Boucher. Finds Shane Pinto. Back to Chikrin. Over to Thompson who lets one go. And that will be kicked aside. Let's go Jimmy. Let's go. I mean, okay. I feel like that wasn't really quite the time to dump and chase, but... Your call, not mine. Thompson up on the rush. We have a three on two. Finds Kachuk. Oh, what a save by Spencer Knight. That was ridiculous. Series on the line. And Spencer is clutching. Yeah? Sanderson goes for the pass down low. But it is not received. A great battle, though. Look at this guy go. Back to Sanderson again. Thought he's going to rip one. There is a shot, but that was right into the chest of Mr. Knight. No way. Yes, we have a power play. This could be huge. We got Filatov out there on the power play. Not opposed to it. Get some more time. Here we go. Pinto battling behind the net. Someone go help him. Good stuff. Don't lose the battle they lost the battle yeah oh my word knight again clutching up yes we still have the puck somehow low shot that will be deflected pinto there for it though goes back to sanderson who does what what are you doing great pass by filatov i'm gonna pump his tires 
Finds Norris on the far side. The Senators are going back on the attack here. In the zone. Nice pass. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! The Ottawa Senators are advancing to the conference finals off of an undisciplined play from Carter Verhage. I do not believe what is happening right now. I thought we were getting put out in the first round with ease. Come on, show. There it is, the Kachucks. <laughs> Shaking each other's hands. Also, Jake Sanderson is elite. He's got to go up in overall after this. Has to. And in the conference finals, we are going up against the Buffalo Sabres. They've lost three more games than us. I guess that means they've gone to seven both times. Ridley is leading our team with 10 points. Let's go, Ridley. Let me just check out the player stats here. Sanderson with 10. Chukrin with 9. Brady's 4-4. Four and four, And Jimmy Superstar also has 8. Miles Wood, 7 points in 11 games. Pinto only has 6 and he's a minus 1. But I feel like he's getting a lot of clutch goals. And how about this stud muffin? A 9.23 save percentage with a 260 GAA. Can we move on to the state? Can you imagine? I honestly don't know if I can. But... It's possible. View lines. My voice is already starting to go. Buffalo Sabres. We can do this. They do have Cousins at 87 overall on the third line playing with Matthew Savoy, but still. Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck a little bit scary. Skinner probably scoring goals. Yeah, he's doing all right. Defensively, now that right there is what we need to be worried about. Owen Power and Rasmus Dahlin. Their bottom four isn't great, but that is scary. And they have 287 overall goalies. So even if one goalie is getting deleted, they have a backup right there equally as talented. Let's see what happens. First three games, you know the rules. Come on. Oh my word. We're up 2-1. Let's do it. Let's go up 3-1. Let's go up 3-1. No, we can't do it. Can we take the lead in the best of seven? No, we can't. Oh, come on, guys. That's not a good start. Tuck gets on the board early, but Kuchuk buries one for the Sens. Tage, I was in the middle of talking. That's a little bit rude. 2-1 heading into the second period here. We have a pretty big hill to climb because even if we win this, we still have to win one more. Giving out power plays, dude. We can't be doing that. You cannot afford to put the Buffalo Sabres on the power play right now. We need a miraculous third period here. The shots aren't really unbalanced, but we are being outshot. Come on, Igor! We are within one. Ten minutes left. Power play. Can't score. Power play for the Sabres. They can't score either. Yes! Miles Woods! You absolute beauty! No! Tage again! Oh, get out of here. Unbelievable. The Edmonton Oilers fire their coach, Brendan Betts, and it is the Minnesota Wild going on to win... The Stanley Cup. What an incredible run that was, though. Magical. We finished the season 10-0-0 and won the first five playoff games. So technically, we won 15 hockey games straight. Jake Sanderson leading the charge. 15 points in 17 games. You love to see it. 87 overall. Ridley's up to 83! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, we're seeing some player growth here. Shane Pinto at 83 as well. Norris still there. Victor didn't budge. Probably Igor didn't budge either. Okay, you went up to 80. It's better than nothing, I guess. Tyler's still 82. Chibata 89. Yeah, and I think Olmark's still going to be the same. Mad's still 80. Okay, you went up to 88. Decent. Nick Backstrom wins the Con Smythe. Wow. At the young age of 38. Atta a boy. Tage Thompson right there with 25. Boldy had 24. Same with Kirill. I guess that's their first line. Boldy, Kirill, and Backstrom. So 
That's quite nasty. Darlene led defenseman, 20 points in 25 games, but Sanderson with 15 in 17. That is awesome. Chikrin's even up there as well. Jesper Wallstedt put up a 906 save percentage, which really isn't that great. Allmark actually had, of the top five here, the second best save percentage. Well, let's have a look at the awards. Minnesota, yeah, we knew that, okay. Individual trophies. Zegris does not get the Art Heart combo because Cooch will go get himself the Heart Memorial. Fox gets the Norris. Zegris with the Lady Bang. Caswell gets the Calder. Baxter with the Consumite, as I said. And yeah, let's just kind of go through it here. Kucherov, quite the season. Here's your playoff tree. They made light work of the Sabres. It was a 4-1 series. Man, if only we had the shot. I do not care. I will be signing Shane Pinto. If it means we don't get a stud in free agency, then so be it. So be it. Just now, at the young age of 40, Patrice decides he's done. Martin Jones, 257 wins. The top goalie retiring this year. I am once again going into this draft completely blind. Although, yeah, Pittsburgh moved up from... Did they move up from 7 to 1? I'm just realizing now. That is ridiculous. Well, congrats. The LA Kings get a medium elite player. Another medium elite, 79 overall. Okay, yeah, this is insane. Well, I guess we'll sim to our pick at 22. It's pretty far down here. Probably won't even get abilities. If we get a top six forward, I'm gonna be happy and I'll probably have no visibility. Okay, so we're guaranteed a top six forward here in Xander Duffy. Most likely has no abilities. Quite a few jet, oh! Supposed to go at 200. Pin. Absolutely pin. Another gem here. Pin. Supposed to go at 46. When's our next selection? Sim options. Oh, we got 27. Okay. And we have... Oh, wow. Okay, so we'll get him easily. Another player here. Gustavs Nikitin. Has the X Factor beside his name. Supposed to be a gem. Oh, it definitely does not have abilities. So... I think my game plan is Kostopoulos is an enforcer, <laughs> a low elite enforcer. Not supposed to go till 200. So I think we just found our first three picks. Let me go to the pin here. We're going to go with Duffy first, of course. Or should we? No, we don't need. Mm, I feel like our defense are just set, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, no, we're getting all of these guys, I should say, because 40, 46, and then 200. So we'll start off with Duffy, make the selection. No abilities, I bet, but yeah. All right, there you go. After us, another medium top six forward, and then another one with one ability somehow. Yeah, okay, and then, oh no, top nine. That's okay. We have pick 27, Ivany, medium top nine forward. It's supposed to go at 40. Do I risk it? I might have to. Modine has been moving down. Horrible stats. We got a bust here, so that's a no. You moved down, whereas you're a medium top nine, and you moved up. All right, you know what? I'm going to scoop up Ivany, and then we will go after Nikitin next. So let's sim to pick 30. Oh my word, we have another one. Yeah, we are fully stocked here. Unfortunately, all of them didn't really turn out to be great, but here you go. Nikitin, medium top six forward, 75 overall with an ability. That is beautiful. These guys got a medium elite goalie, but I mean, yeah, you know what? That's kind of a steal. We also have the last pick. How many draft picks do we have? Holy smokes. I feel like I risk it for this guy. He's mm, guaranteed medium top four defender. Or do I go for the potential medium elite? Risk it for the biscuit, baby, all day. What do we get? I, I don't know what we got. Medium top six, right wing power forward. I'm fine with that. Top six defender. And what I want to know is when's our next selection? 59. All right. Noted. So we could grab Rod. In fact, I feel like I should. Oh, you're listed as a gem. So I think I'm actually going to take Roger. And then Kostopoulos is going to be pretty close there as well. Yeah, sim options. 59. It's not going to last. I mean, we could grab another one, but we have so many draft picks. I am just going to risk it for... The gem, Roger Gray, you're both left defensemen. 
Roger's a little bit taller. He's 17, whereas Rod is 18. Grieba's probably going real soon. So let's just go ahead, make that selection. Medium top four, no ability, 63 overall. I imagine they're going to be very similar. And hello? Okay, you know, let's just sim to... No, I don't want to sim to our next pick. They got to go soon, no? There, okay. Rod, what are you? Yeah, basically the same player. The guaranteed low elite here in Kostopolis, but right now we are at pick 59, and yeah, there's a good chance that this player is low elite, so... Dopita? Sure, why not? Take another left winger. You turn out to be a low top six. That's not too bad. No abilities. You're supposed to go at 200. Someone could take you sooner. Next pick's 94. Okay, I'll take you with the next pick just to really guarantee it, but I'm gonna risk a complete blind selection here on Gotch. Is it Marcel Gotch's kid? Low top six? Could have been worse. No more putting it off. I know that we could. Not going to, though. Welcome to the team, Griffin. Low elite enforcer. Six foot five as well. Very likely to be a medium top six. So we'll go with Chad. Yep, that's fine. 48 overall. A little bit of a rough go. And that's it. So, sim the rest of the draft. That was a success. Yeah. Big dub. Any good coaches that we could scoop up for our squad? I guess I can't do that until free agency. So, never mind. $19 million of cap space. Batherson coming up next year. Ridley coming up. That is terrifying. Shane Pinto. How much do you want? Oh, I should have scooped him when I had him at 3 mil. We'll try 3.8 for two years. I think that's okay. And we have Joseph, depending on what you want. He only wants a million. And I can get him for less. I feel like he was good for us, so yeah. Uh, Duheim. Were you even on our, were you playing in the AHL? Another depth player. Wants a two-way contract. Oh yeah, all right. Brandstrom dropped to 79 overall. You absolute clown. I'm still not gonna let you just walk though. Qualify and... I don't even know who you are, Zach, but I mean, you're high top nine, 78 overall, and you're only 23. So yeah, let's get you on a contract here. Take you for two more years. That should be okay. I kind of want to sign to Keaton. You could play in the AHL this year, no? I guess it depends. I don't really know what the rules for that are. Yeah, I think so. Let's sign him. Oh, do ya. Low elite. UFA, 66 and 20 years of age. So yeah, I'll offer you a contract. I'm gonna let this guy walk. No, you're fine. RFA, uh, no, no thank you. Oh, Sala, I forgot we got a medium elite goalie. I will sign him next year. So we have too many contracts. That's not good. We're at 50 out of 50. I probably should have looked at that. So unfortunately, Matthew Joseph will be hitting the market. Doyle is a generalist. 61% team fit. What do we have here? You are a defensive coach. 47% team fit. No. 58 for Spike. He's an A. Probably not. I think I like our coach. 59% team fit. Yeah. No, I'm chilling with our coach. If we go to our contracts, we have 48 signed. Actually, we have $16 million of cap space. However, Batherson is coming up. He's currently making five, and he wants 6.8. Ridley's coming up. He's currently making one, and he wants three. Thompson's coming up, and he wants three as well, which for him is actually not a... Yeah, I'll give you that immediately. That is very reasonable. Uh, 2.95, how about? Igor Sokolov, not gonna bother with you right now. Yeah, okay, so... There's some big players up here, but I think we should be able to get most of them. Ridley... Let's go ahead and offer you a contract as well. A short term. I just want you at one year for 2.6. Is there going to be a big name in the free agent market? Let's see. Patrick Line. 91 overall. A right wing sniper. To play with Brady. Okay. Yep. Welcome to the team. You better sign with us. I'll let you play Fortnite. I'll let you do whatever you want. Just score some goals, all right? So I need to offer him probably way above what he wants. The only other team interested is LA. 11.5. Is that going to be enough? It has to be enough. I don't want to pay... Mm, we've been waiting for this moment. 11.750, all right? 
offer contract, you better not say no. Goalies, yeah, I mean, we have our goalie, so I'm not really worried about it. What about potential? Medium starter here, 66 overall. Clang, medium starter, 78 overall. Wow, there's some good goalies here. What the heck is going on? Look at this guy. Nikita Kwop. Medium starter, 77 overall. And he's only 23. I'm giving you a contract. Nobody wants the goalies. I'm doing a small prospect dump here because we're getting a better goalie from free agency. Brandstrom has been a complete letdown. He has no value and I do not. The last thing I want is for Lion A to be like, oh, you have too many contracts. I can't sign with you. So absolutely not. Give me, like, I don't even think a third would go through, but I'm going to really push it for a second here and see what happens. Trade rejected. Didn't think so. What about a third? I, at this point, I kind of just want to get rid of these guys. I can't lie. What about a fourth? Nice. All right. That's fine with me. We've got Mads. I kind of want Osala to maybe be the backup this year. Maybe we can sign him. And I can get rid of you. You're high fringe starter, though. I just feel like Levi... He's not growing at all. I mean, the goalie we're getting is like 70-something overall. So yeah, I'll get rid of you for now. If anybody even... Wants this guy a fourth and we'll call it even? No. Probably not even going to get like a sixth for this guy, but I just want him off the roster essentially. No. Will they even do a seventh? They have to. Sixth? No. I will take a seventh. This is just a complete... I would do future considerations. Oh my word. Fine. I'll give you him and a seventh for a sixth. That is more like it. Moment of truth. We could have an insane first line. Advanced A. Advanced A. That's the AHL assistant coach, I believe. Yup, perfect. The AHL team is shaping up. Come on. Ridley. Lassie. No, Quop went somewhere else. Yes! Woo! We got line A, baby! That is huge. Let's go after Clang then, because medium starter, 78 overall, listed as a minor starter. Yeah, you can be the starter for us. And then I want that medium elite goalie to be the backup. Probably too soon, I don't care. The next order of business is re-signing this man. We have the cap space for it. So I'm going to try to offer you 6.5 for the five years. Let's see what you say. On top of that, Osala, offer you a contract. There you go. Clang decided to join us. That is great news. Batherson's coming back on a bit of a discount there. Massive. Fire me up. Guys, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is everything I hoped for and more. I am going to play Josh Norris on the second line though. Left side here. And move Ridley down. We've also got Angus. Who is a medium top nine fourth liner. Yeah. Victor, I feel like you were doing all right for us. And Duheim. Yeah. Fair enough. Sokolov could be the third line goal scorer for us. But we have power forward, playmaker, sniper. They better do bits this year. Defensively. Sanderson at 87. We want Walsh up here, who is a right defender. Yeah, something's going to have to happen there. We need a left D. In net, we've got Allmark and Mads. Love to see it. There's our guy, Gustavs. I am not going to let that be a dash one. Don't you worry. I will figure something out. There, found it. Donovan is 22 and is a medium top six left-handed defender. Whereas Tyler's 24. 78 versus 77. I'm calling up this guy. Miles Wood being scratched and Yoel Armia. I don't even know how we got him. But yeah, I do want to bring Miles in, but I feel like I'd rather play this Angus guy. Sorry, Miles. I'll send you down to the AHL for now, though. You'll get you'll get ice time. So Armia, Walsh, and Miles Wood all going down to the AHL, and we're calling up. Well, no, you're going to play in the AHL, I think. Well, you are listed as a fourth-line forward, though. We have Crookshank up there right now, who's also a fourth-line forward. Crap. Yeah, you're listed as a fourth-line forward. And Duheim... This it as a depth forward. All right, you know what? Oh, that gives us two left wingers, though. Why? Crookshank, yeah. And you know what? He's a right winger that shoots left, so maybe I will do that. Anyway, the first order of business is bringing up Donovan. Yeah. Jorian, welcome to the team. Confirm. 
And we also need to go back to the NHL. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Duheim, you're gone. And we are bringing up Mr. Zach Ostapchuk. I uh, butchered that. I almost do want to play Ridley here. Over Norris. Eight million dollars we're paying this guy? Yo, I think Norris got to go. <laughs> that is nuts. He did well for us, but man. That is crazy. Batherson is definitely not making that much. Line A is making the most on the team, I believe. Jimmy making 8.3. Kachuk, 8.2. And then Hattrick Line A, 11.75. Wowzers. Jorian will be playing with Jacob. And then we've got Thompson, who's still 82. Come on, man. Playing with Sanderson, Chikrin, and Shabbat together, of course. Yeah, looks good. All right, AHL. Let's do, whoopsies, I meant to do head coach preferred lines. Duheim, yeah, but no. You're coming up here. You can go there, maybe. I don't know why this line is just bad blood. I think Miles Wood would be good for Nikitin. So, yeah, that's that's it. Fine with me. Defense. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Every time it feels like. Whatever. This is what we're going with defensively. And then that's our offense. In net, we've got Clang backed up by Topi. All right. It was a good playoff run. A successful offseason. And you know what? Go sends go.